Today we're going to be uh, doing the ortho or reactive phosphorus test. Um, we are going to be doing it on a DR890 colorimeter. It's just a little handheld colorimeter. Um, we're going to be using <coughs> the Hawk reagent set for a reactive phosphate. It comes with everything you need. The um, vials for the uh, test itself. It's a test in tube process. It comes with uh, reagent powder pillows, phosphor 3 phosphate reagent powder pillows. Okay, and here's a look at the kit. Reagent powder pillows. Okay. I'm going to take two vials out of the uh, kit because I'm going to be running a standard and a sample. And I'm going to label those. Okay, the first thing we want to do is program our meter to do the um, phosphate test because you can run numerous tests on this one colorimeter. So um, I'm gonna just go through the keystrokes and show you. We're gonna go program 82, enter. And that will give us, get us to the PO4 screen. Okay. I've already made up a standard, which I made it up from a 100 milligram per liter phosphate standard. Um, it's not going to be 100 on the test. I had to dilute it to make a 2 milligrams per liter. <clears throat> this meter will only read up so far. Um, if you have a sample that's really high concentrated, you would need to make a dilution. Um, we're going to see what this sample concentration will be. First of all, we're going to do a standard. have a micro pipetter here set to, here yeah, it is, set to 1,000 microliters. Micro pipette tips. I'm going to just put a tip on the end. Um, now I'm going to use my stand, there's my standard. This is the standard, the two milligram per liter that I'd already made up. We're going to pop it five mils into our testing tube. We're going to um, dispose of our tip by pressing the button all the way in. Okay. Now we're going to take this tube and just mix it. <clears throat> Each time you put a tube into the meter to read or zero, you need to wipe it with a chem wipe or some type of lint free cloth. With the logo facing you, put the top on so no light will enter in. Then we're going to press zero. We're going to zero the meter. <clears throat> and each time you read something with a different tint, you will want to zero the meter again, such as the standard, um, you zero, then put the reagent powder pillow in, then read and then when you start to do a sample you will want to zero it again <coughs> because it will have a tint to it. I'm going to add one of my phosphor three pillows. Ok. 
Okay, Let's knock all the powder to the bottom. So I've opened the powder pillow and I want to kind of push the sides in so it will open. Then I'm going to add it to the vial. Now we're going to shake this for about 15 seconds. Um, we're going to set a timer um, for the uh, wait time because this is going to have to have time to react with the whatever you're reading. So I'm going to press timer. It automatically brings up a two minute timer for the phosphate test and then enter and it will count down. Okay, our two minutes is up. We're going to take our vial. Make sure you wipe it with the Kim wipe before reading. Put it into the holder. Put the cover on and press read to get our, it's 1.85. Now with that we got our standard red, we're going to read a sample. So we always mix the sample. If the sample's been in the refrigerator, you want to bring it up to room temperature before you run the test. Okay, I'm going to get a new tip for the micro pop editor. Take my lid off. Pop it five mils of sample into the testing tube. We're going to just mix it. Remember to wipe off the vial. Put it in the cell holder. Close it so no light will be able to get in. We're going to zero this as well. We're going to add the reagent powder pillow. Up, oh, wrong way. Shake it at least 15 seconds. I'm going to put the two minute timer on. Press timer. It puts the two minutes up there and enter to start the timer. Okay, now we're ready to read our sample. Make sure you uh, wipe the vial.
Now we're going to press read to get the reading. It's a 0.25 milligrams per liter reading for the sample. We can also see what the, uh, the absorbance is. There's a key on the meter that says absorbance or tran percent transmittance. You can press that key to see what the absorbance is. It's, the, uh, it's 0 0.034 and that relates to the um, concentration, milligrams per liter. And um, you can also see what the percent transmittance is by pressing that toggle key again to see what the transmittance, it just goes back and forth. And to get back to concentration, there's a key that says concentration, just press that key, and it's back to the milligrams per liter. And now that we're finished with the uh, phosphorus test, the tubes, um, you want to dispose of them in accordance with university regulations.